Put your game face on. Hey, I thought it would <laughs> look at this. I thought it'd be really interesting if over there we go. Um, if the season two of Guess the Reference, this is a terrible introduction. Hi, um, I thought it'd be really cool if for season two of Guess the Reference, I kind of do like a behind the scenes of the whole process, um, which then I can upload once the series is over. I really, I really want to do that. Um, so today I'm filming my very first one. Today it's the 17th of November, so you guys won't see this until like ages. 15 minutes ago, I thought I was meant to be filming with um, Monique Paul, but I got my time zones wrong again, so now I'm just brushing my hair out and actually gonna try and make it look nice. <laughs> this is great. This is a look. I might just keep it like this. Also, my eyes are really... Oh, whoa, those are filthy. Can you see how filthy these are? I've just done a rant on my Instagram story about how glasses are not made for filming purposes. Like, look at this. My eyes are hurting and I can't even film with glasses on today, so we're sacrificing my eyeballs for the purpose of television, television, YouTube, yeah. But anyway, guess the reference. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'm recording on this right now. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing in the back that I don't want people to see. It's just my painting stuff, okay? <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? I'm just putting away my stuff. I haven't, haven't seen this before, have you? Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna do questions again because I'm filming two more guest references tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm filming with Dylan and Isaiah. Is it the 19th? No, it's not the 19th tomorrow. Um, Dylan and Colton. Yeah, Colton and Dylan. Hello. Hello. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, can you see me? I can, and I can hear you. Can you hear me all fine? Is that okay? Yes. Oh, okay, brilliant. I have like a ring light <laughs> and then my camera. That's like exactly right what Berkeley did yesterday. She just turned the thing around. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks all good anyway. That's good. Um, hello. <laughs> um, I've just finished filming with Dylan Ratzlaff and I have another video to film. Sorry, hang on. Hello. I have a busy evening. It's quarter to five at the moment. At six o'clock, I'm filming with Colton Moore, who plays Marcus. So we have an hour and 15 to chill now and also to let my battery charge up a little bit because I just want to make sure it's all good. Um, filming with Dylan was really fun. And you might be able to see, I have blue eyeshadow on today. I need a better angle though. Blue, look at it. It's so sparkly. It's really cute. But, oh, they, they, it looks like they're completely not there. And then bam. Oh, I have a hot water bottle today, but you can see it in the frame. Oh, I'm gonna have to give it up. It's quite surreal when you think about it, isn't it? Like I've just done a video call, for instance, with Dylan Ratzlaff, who I filmed with just now. Um, like, I'm such a Jackie stan. And every time I see Dylan dance, I'm like in awe of her. Like, and I've just done a video call. It, it, it's weird. But I think the reason it doesn't really sink in is because I feel like it's work. Like, you know, I'm just at work now. It's just a bit of my job. If I was video calling and we were in a general chat, that would probably feel a little bit more intimidating. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, Carlton's ready now. So now what needs to happen, I just get myself ready. I need to put my earphones in so that I can hear and it doesn't echo out. Um, and then I call. Real. So, oh, by the way, you look into um, your device that you're recording on. You don't need to keep looking at me. Yeah, and because my camera is okay. here, if I'm looking here, I'm not ignoring you. I promise. Right. <laughs> you're not even looking. Yeah, it's okay. Every time I finish a video call, I realise I've been sweating loads. This is why I don't wear long sleeves in video calls. I learnt my lesson after my video with Carter. I had to. Well, you might notice it, but I crop it very close to my face a lot because of the sweat patches that I have when I lift up my arms in excitement. <laughs> like I was so nervous. I was just really, really sweating. Um, so yeah, I just don't wear long sleeves anymore. I've learned my lesson. Or I wear light colors or cap sleeve things, you know, or baggy sleeves. Those are useful. Yeah, I'm, I, I get really nervous and I never realize how nervous I am until after I finish filming with them, which I guess is better than beforehand. Otherwise I'd just be a, a, a mess while filming. Oh, brilliant. Dylan's just sent me her video as well. I've literally finished filming with Dylan today, like I said. Tomorrow, if I talk you through tomorrow's plans, tomorrow I'm filming with Isaiah Peck, 
who plays Henry on the next step. So another OG, or as OG as we can get at the moment. Like he's been on it since, from season four to season seven. So same as um, Shelby and Alex, they were like our big ones. Um, we've got another big one for Guess the Reference, which is great. I'm really excited to film with him. Um, hopefully that will all go smoothly tomorrow. He's my only one tomorrow, so I'm also needing to finish filming my What If because I only got through half of it because I kind of drifted in my mind and I didn't want to carry on with the rest of it because I wasn't in it fully. So yeah, that's tomorrow's to-do list. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's afternoon. It's three o'clock. Um, today I am filming another guest the reference, obviously, because this is the guest reference behind the scenes video. Um, I'm doing Isaiah Peck today. He's my last one of this week. Today is Thursday. Okay, that looks normal, right? That's what it normally is. I think it's too far left, isn't that? Actually, I don't even know what time it is in Toronto. I think I'm an hour early. I might be an hour early, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I got my time zones wrong again. I don't know why I just don't double check. It's because I always get confused whether it's four hours behind or five hours behind because of the time zone changes. And then when I was with Katie, I accidentally did my times wrong. And it was, I think, four hours instead of five. But now with... I, I don't know. I, but yeah, anyway, I was an hour early, so... Hello, I've decided I'm going to change my bed sheets now because I have time and also <laughs> I'm watching Brittany's vlog and she's changing her bed sheet um, while telling a dammy story so she's inspired me. Thank you Brit. Okay, Isaiah told me he's ready and the bed is not done so I need to hurry up. <laughs> Fresh bed sheets, no one ever knew. Hi, it's the guess the reference behind the scenes video. Um, at the moment I'm vlogging, like, cause it's vlogmas at the same time as me doing this. So I've kind of forgotten to actually do it behind the scenes for this. Also, I have now worked out a schedule, I think, for when all these videos are gonna go up, like the order of the guests. So now I need to just film a little intro because for the very first video that goes up, which is Berkeley's, I haven't done an intro, like to guess the reference season two, because I didn't know whose video was gonna be first. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, but yeah, I've done, look, my hair is out for once. It's not fake hair, it's not up, it's out, I love it. Um, but my eyes today, can you see how glittery they are? Basically, I used a glitter in the new eyeshadow palette I had, and it's such clumpy glitter. Like, it's not necessarily bad, but I thought it would be really small. And I literally put it on, and it just went everywhere. It keeps leaking into, like, my... What, what's this bit of your eye called? I don't know. The tear duct. And it's just everywhere. And it's very clumpy. Um, but, you know, I'm going to do my best with it. But I've gone for blue. Um, it's 10 to 5, so I've got 10 minutes until I'm meant to be filming with my guest the reference person. I've asked for questions for them. The vlog went up um, an hour ago, but I haven't checked any comments yet because I'm busy. <laughs> okay, exactly 5 o'clock. Brianna is ready. Let's call. Are you ready to start? Yes. Yeah, are you ready to get started? <laughs> yes, okay. Oh, hi. It's January. This is the first time I've done a guest the reference behind the scenes video in January, even though I've actually filmed two this year already. I completely forgot to film anything for the behind the scenes of Emily Roman's um, video, and I feel really bad now thinking about that, so I hope she didn't watch it and be like, oh my god, there's no behind the scenes for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I can't go back in time and make anything up really, I guess. Um, so if I just give you like an inside take, she was super, super nice. And as you know from the video, if you've seen it, then she scored really, really well. Um, but today I'm filming with Noah Zulpikar, who I was meant to film with. Um, I don't remember if I filmed a behind the scenes before of it, but I was meant to film with him like in December. Yeah, it was during my vlogmas. Um, but I'm finally getting around to doing it. I feel like I look really cute today, my little glasses. And I've done a low ponytail with the ponytail extension in. Ooh, but it's a bit too long, let me show you. See, it's literally like nearly touching my bum, like my bum starts here, pretty much. Okay, Noah is ready. That's stable. The light is, okay. We're gonna call Noah, let's see. It was his birthday yesterday, like on the day that I'm filming this. So I'm gonna make sure I say happy birthday. Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Happy birthday for yesterday, by the way. <laughs> Evening all. And today, <laughs> I don't know what that intro was. Um, I'm filming with 
Finn, Finn, Liam Mackey, who plays Finn on the next set for Guess the Reference. Um, and it's not happening for three hours, but I have a work meeting in an hour's time. Um, so literally, as soon as I get out of my work meeting, I'll start filming. So I need to make sure I'm ready and everything. And it's going to be the most glam work meeting I've ever had, because usually I just turn up like this pretty much and I'm actually going to be making an effort. Yeah, I'm actually very excited for today's Guess Around. I always get excited for them. It's currently half past five. Um, we're filming at eight o'clock, which is 12 o'clock his time. <laughs> the lights are now on. Earphones. And, oh, I am excited. I don't think that there has been a more disorganized guest reference. Not disorganized, actually, just unfortunate. But you know what? I wouldn't have wanted it to be with anybody else because Liam is one of the nicest people I have done the quiz with so far. Um, this is an awful angle. I don't know why I'm filming like this. But yeah, he was super understanding, super nice. And yeah, I don't feel as awful as I probably would if maybe... I. I, I don't know, but anyway, yeah, props to you, Liam. You're a superb guest, very much enjoyed it. Um, and he also showed me his TV. I had to record on my phone, which is old as heck, and I don't even know if the camera's any good on it, really, because I don't use it for much. Um, what else happened? Discord froze, I couldn't see Liam. I could hear him in my ear, but I couldn't see anything. Then my webcam appeared to still be on, except, the app was closed so I didn't even know if he could still see me so I was just talking to myself as if maybe he could um yeah all over the place but you know that's one of the perks of the job I suppose spontaneity everything's different every day is different um yeah but Liam was lovely about it so how many more do we have left to film I have two more to film um yeah but anyway all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night is wash my face get this makeup off and get my pajamas on I'm gonna go and play on the Xbox or watch the TV or go on Sims or something. Sort out why my laptop doesn't like me anymore. Um, yeah, that's literally it. And then I'll next film when I next film with a guest. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the 23rd of February. But I haven't filmed a guest reference video in ages now. Today, we're doing another and I'm wearing pink, so have a guess. And you know it's the 10th one. So today I'm filming with Victoria, who played Michelle, and all of you, well, majority of you that have followed my channel for a while, or you've seen my reactions, you know how much I love Michelle. <laughs> I love Victoria. Every time I see Michelle dance or Victoria dance, I'm in awe and I adore it. Um, so this is really special for me. I'm super, super excited. And yeah, basically, um, we're filming in two hours, three hours, what's time? Um, so I'm gonna get myself, I'm gonna have something to eat. I've got my food. I'm gonna get my makeup done. I'm gonna wear pink, obviously. And make sure I'm all set up. Make sure the camera's fully charged. Make sure the laptop's fully charged. Um, and I'm super excited. I have just finished doing all of her questions ready. You know what, I need to take, I'm gonna take a boomerang for Instagram, like filming. Okay, so I'm just waiting for Victoria now to join my call. I'm excited. See, there we go, the lighting's better now. It was too bright. I'm wearing a little necklace, pink nails, pink top, pink makeup. As you can see, I'm Michelle ready. Um, so I'm gonna film my introduction now while I'm waiting and then hopefully she'll join. Is it okay if I'm like looking over at you or like how? Yeah, I was gonna say, um, yeah, look in your camera, but if it feels okay. natural to like turn and look at me and stuff, like that's fine. I literally feel guys like emotionally drained. I feel so emotional. Oh, I don't know. I think it's that she just hit me that like, 20 cast members of The Next Step fully know who I am and have spoken to me. So when I'm filming this, um, Guess the Reference with Victoria Baldessera isn't out until Sunday. It's currently Thursday. Um, but I wanted to insert this clip of just how I actually do my scoring systems and everything because I haven't actually spoken about that in all of the other videos I filmed. Oh, and I thought it might also be interesting to show you basically the files that I have 
on my computer the editing software i use the premise of that so but in here is actually a combination of all the guest references and um, each word document is all the questions that i've had for each people i think this is my original draft that i did um i have my trailer there and i also have a folder for every guest so this is just season two and within those folders are all of for example if we go into colton's folder um i have all of the fan questions i have the original file that he sent me um i have my recordings down here i have pictures that i want to insert my audio files um so there is a lot to it wow this is very orange so if i show you emily roman's document um basically what i have is reminders for myself so i knew that i needed to do an intro um say all the rounds and that it's not in any affiliation with anyone um then i have a little introduction of who it is and then i kind of draft out the kind of things that i want to say to them before the video actually starts for you guys so i usually just give them a general breakdown of everything that's involved um how they're going to send the files to me how long we'll be filming for whether they've watched any of the videos before and they're familiar with it so i just kind of get to know them a little bit and then i like to just ask them a random question like what's your favorite episode or season or your favorite memory um and then in terms of the points so you can see here that I have all of the questions written out alongside the answers and if they get a question wrong then I usually highlight it in yellow and I jot down how many points they got for it um, and after each round I do a total so that when it comes to adding them up at the end it's quite easy. So you can see here um, and different colour highlights means different points. Um, but if I show you my editing <laughs> I'm going to show you the um, Victoria file because that's the one I've opened most recently. So. Yes, yeah, so actually, Victoria's video was um, upside down, so in editing, I had to flip it. Um, so you can see Victoria there, and my file goes on top, and then I half each file so that we sit alongside each other on screen. We have the audio down there. There we are. Um, so that is what my timeline looks like, and then all of the subtitles on top, I just put on top. Like, you can see... Oh, where's the subtitles? there so you can see i've got um the rounds that goes on top of the game face song we've got the question you got another question over here with the rounds um so yeah and then once i've finished editing i upload it to youtube and watch it on there and just check that everything's okay and if i think that it's all fine and then if i think it is fine i send the guests the unlisted link to it so they can watch it privately um and i just tell them to let me know before the date that it's meant to go up if everything's okay and if there were anything changing then i'll edit an instagram clip from all of those clips on the timeline that you just saw i'll send that to myself ready to post on usually a saturday um and that's the process Hello everyone. So we have a little fixed segment in this video. I've just asked on my Instagram if any of you guys have any direct things you want me to answer. So I'm just going to go through the responses that I've had and I'm just going to answer some questions. What gave you the inspiration to want to start it in the first place? So I think the inspiration was that I wanted to have a new kind of video on my channel so I, I i obviously like ranking things otherwise i wouldn't still be doing them and doing what if videos and stuff but i wanted to have a new focus point and i also just wanted to push myself a little bit further out of the box and get a little bit more i don't know push myself further and also me and miles dobson want or miles dobson and i wanted to do a video together for a while and we just didn't know what we could do um, i wanted to make it worthwhile not just uh, like a random video so i had the idea and i proposed it to him and then he was like yeah that sounds good and uh, i was like do you think other people would join in and he said i think so but if they don't then it can just be our video that we do so we uploaded it and then obviously we've got tw 20 contestants now so it all worked out in the end um, how do you record the scores? So on the Word document that I showed you earlier, I highlight each question if they get it wrong. Um, if I give them a certain amount of points for the question, even though they got it wrong, then I'll note that down as well. And after each round, I use my calculator on my phone to add them up as I go. Um, I've learned that from experience because like for the first few videos, I was just leaving it till the end and then I had these masses of points to add up and it took forever. Um, so yeah that's how i do it and that seems to be the way that's worked for me i still usually get the scores wrong though and then when i'm editing i realize it's a completely different thing so i have to edit it <laughs> so how do you reach out to the actors and actresses 
Um, a lot of people have asked this, like how do they contact you? Do you contact them? So for the first season, I let them come to me because I was really nervous about it and I was I didn't really feel like I had the right to message them and ask them to take part. I don't know, it was weird. I'm not very forward with that kind of thing. Um, but for season two, I was proud of the first series that we had. So I had it obviously as a playlist and I sent it to them. I was like, would you be interested in doing my season two? I'm not filming yet. I'm gonna organize a schedule and then we'll do it and then I'll upload them in bulk. Um, so that's what I decided to do. Um, so I messaged them for the series two and if they already heard about it from their friends, then they messaged me and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just messaged them on Instagram and then after that we arranged to, they join my Discord server that I have and then we have a video call on there. Um, they record themselves at the same time and then send me their recording and then I edit it. Oh yeah, so someone has asked, do you use Zoom to video chat? So I use Discord. I, I kind of want to keep a chill vibe with it. I like it to be very natural and just be like an interaction between us and a collaboration rather than a business deal. Um, so Discord is the thing that works best for me. I like to be able to send pictures on there also and just be quick instant messaging, which is why I like Instagram rather than email. Um, so if someone's struggling, I can literally just voice note them and tell them what to do and stuff and they can voice note me back. So I just like to keep it very chilled i think um while professional at the same time oh this is an interesting one. what do you talk about before you start the video like when we start filming so you see for us some people it depends when they start filming themselves the guests um so if they don't start filming themselves until i say okay we'll start recording then usually the first thing that happens is the quiz because we've already discussed everything beforehand but like for victoria she started filming herself straight away pretty much um so that's the kind of thing that we discuss so like how are you have you done anything throughout the day i usually cut that out because like i, I don't want to expose what they're doing in their private life i also usually give them a breakdown of the quiz well, you guys don't need to hear that because i give the introduction anyway so i just tell them personally how it all works how i work out the scores what it's out of all the rounds um i say who's previously nominated them if anybody um i give I tell them my email address and they say how to send the stuff to me. So just all of the technicalities basically that goes on and then we start recording most of the time or that's when I at least um, show you the video. I cut it after that point. What time would you call the cast? Uh, it depends on what time works for them and um, for people like Berkeley and Dylan they're both early birds like they gave me 8 a.m their time and 9 a.m they their time I'm pretty sure um which actually works out at about 5 p.m for me which is great um so because of the time zones usually it's as early as possible for them that they can do just so it's not like 11 o'clock at night for me how do you come up with all of the questions? My first thing I do is I go on TNS Wikia. So if you've ever contributed to that page, thank you so much. It's a very helpful page. Um, and I go on their character page. I look at the trivia notes at the bottom, which is just like the random facts. And I usually use one of those for the obscure question or I'll base a question around it. Um, also, it gives me like facts about their character. It gives me a synopsis of their whole plot. So that kind of helps me with guidance to which episodes I could possibly look at for a question. If it's a character that's only been in like one season, then I'll go to iPlayer and I'll watch the episodes that they've been in and I'll just write down questions as I go. So if someone mentions something, I'll be like, oh, what did they say in this scene? And I'll just write down as many questions as I can think of. Then I'll ask for fan questions. And if the fan questions happen to be the same as what I've already asked, then that's like a bonus for me because <laughs> I get some extra questions out of it that I've picked also. So I'll use the fan questions take them off my list of questions and then I have more room for finding others. How long are the video calls with the cast not just the 20-30 minutes that we see? Um, I usually say when I first propose to them it's between 30 minutes to an hour. I'd say generally it's around 40 minutes the call because obviously we talk about the technicalities beforehand and then once the quiz is finished um like i don't just take out my earphones and start talking to you guys like i sign off with them i tell my email address and everything I, th I thank them then they go then i film my outro um so it just depends like i cut out a lot to be honest okay who would be your dream cast member to do guess the reference i get this quite a lot this is why i'm answering it honestly i don't have a dream person that i want to do it with i really just like um meeting everybody speaking to everybody and i appreciate anyone that wants to take part there's not a, like a, a long-term goal for me to get one particular person i think i especially got that with season one like everyone was like oh you need to try and get this person like it really doesn't bother me who 
I get. Obviously, I'm extremely grateful of anyone who does join in. Like when Victoria said that she would like to take part and people like Dylan and just big people that I like myself follow and I'm very inspired by. I'm very appreciative of them. But there isn't anyone in particular that I really want to take part and I really want to get a video with because I'm just yeah, I, I, I'm content, I'm happy. If your guests didn't have Discord, how did you film with them? They made a Discord. <laughs> what criteria do you have when picking the fan questions? So generally with a fan question, what I like is if they're kind of out of the box and they're not just who is um, Lily's boyfriend. Like questions like that I don't really go for because it's just easy, it's quite simple. I like them where they're gonna have to make the contestant think a little bit but also I don't like them to be too obscure and then I'll maybe steal them for my obscure question and obviously put their names on screen like I did for um, Victoria's video. I don't remember who else I did it for um, but generally I like a question that is like they thought a bit about it. It's something that I maybe don't know so I have to go and look for the answer myself. Those are good questions for me. How much of the show do you rewatch in order to get some of your questions? Lots of it. I watch every, nearly, I don't watch every episode that they've been in, but I generally skim through each episode that they appear in to see if there's any valuable scenes I can quiz them on. Have you got any bloopers? Uh, no, not really, because I include everything in the videos. I try and make them very low-key and just chilled and relaxed and like a normal conversation. So I guess if it was stricter and more just like question, answer, question, answer, the bloopers would be things like, oh no, actually, do you know what? I do have a blooper. I'll insert it now. And um, Victoria dropped her phone <laughs> just before we started recording. I'll insert that. So I'm very lucky that I checked last night. Like, what is actually the time in LA when it's like what my time? Well, this yes. morning I was like, I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I gotta get going. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it usually take to edit a guest the reference video? I'd say around three days it usually takes me. And also it depends like what work I have on because I've say I'm still working, I'm a teacher, I'm a dance teacher. Um, and also like I manage the website for my, uh, not my companies, the companies I work for. I do the messaging, the emailing the, of the parents and everything. So if I'm working, that takes up a lot of my time and I can't edit. Um, so yeah, as long as it works around my work schedule, I'd say on average three days generally, and that's in terms of hours. So like an eight hour day for me, which is what I usually do, eight, 16, 20, so around 24 hours. If I sat and just did it, I'd get it done. How do you balance the difficulty level for characters that have been on multiple seasons? I don't really, I think it, it has to be fair because ultimately if you've been in more seasons then you've been in more seasons. I can't just give them a leeway because they've been in more. I don't think that'd be fair on the people that have been in less because like it's a game show. It's ultimately a test of your memory. If someone has really good memory then they're going to remember more than someone who doesn't regardless of how many seasons they've been in. And also can't, like maybe this is an unpopular opinion. I think it's harder the less seasons you've been in because there's less main things to quiz you on. Like there's only going to be so many dances you've been in that you can guess the song for. There's less obvious questions for them. Whereas for people that have been in it longer, there are more obvious questions like what dance was this? You can tell by the overall le leaderboard that it really doesn't matter. And generally the people that have only been in one season are at the bottom because there's more obscure things for you to quiz them on and there's less just um, normal questions. Like there's only so many dances they've been in that you can quiz them on. So you're gonna have to look for more less obvious things. Whereas someone that's been in lots of seasons, there's gonna be more obvious things for them to quiz on and at least 10 questions worth. So that concludes the guess the reference behind the scenes video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I've really liked recording this process and just sharing it with you all actually. It's just a little extra video to kind of assist the series. Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Comment below any questions you've got about the process or anything. I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's anything else, but I don't think there is really. Yeah. Don't